Nobody buys the Topeak trunk bag to make their bike look more cool, handle better, or set a new record on a local Strava segment, because the Topeak MTX trunk bag doesn't help you accomplish any of those things. What this bicycle bag system does help you accomplish is convert your bike from exclusively an exercise machine into something much more useful and practical. A simple vehicle that you can transport stuff around town with you on. With the Topeak trunk bag, you can pack up your essentials and head to the park with your family or friends or best friend. You can stop by the grocery and grab ingredients to make dinner or ice cream for dessert. And you can even pack an extra layer, a rain jacket, or a complete change of clothes. And since the Topeak trunk bag has the quick track rack, it's super easy to pop off this bag and leave it at home when you want to go for a lightweight ride with your buddies or just out on your own. I've had this Topeak trunk bag for a little over a year now, and in the next 90 seconds, I'm going to tell you why it's the single best accessory I've ever bought for my bike. I wish I would have gotten this set up years ago. And then I'm going to share some of the downsides to this bag, and then finally I'll show you the link below this video where I bought my Topeak trunk bag on Amazon for a 25% discount. If you've ever found yourself out on a ride or about to head somewhere on your bike and thought, man, I wish I had a way to bring a few more things with me. This Topeak trunk bag may be the solution to your problem. This is the situation I found myself in. I really liked riding my bike and getting out for a longer multiple hour adventures or even almost a full day of riding. But without some way of storage on your bike, you're really limited in what you can use your bike for. So let me show you some of the features in this Topeak trunk bag. The best thing about the Topeak trunk bag is the ease and convenience of the quick track rack. This is the single thing that really sold me on this bag over anything else on the market. It's super easy to pop on and pop off and there's no strings to tie and you don't have to worry about any of that getting stuck in your rear wheel and you just don't have to fumble around with tying strings and some awkward setup. And as you probably noticed by now, you're going to need to buy the Topeak trunk bag as well as the Topeak bike rack with a quick track rack for it. The two work together in unison. And before I get into more details about the actual Topeak trunk bag, let me let you know there's two different racks you need to choose from. If your bike has normal brakes like mine, then you can just get the same Topeak rear rack that I have. But if you have disc brakes on your bike, you'll need to get a separate version of the Topeak rear rack. I have links to each of these in the description box below this video. It'll take you over to Amazon and you can take a look at the two different racks and just be sure to choose the one that's compatible with your bike. The rack is really easy to mount. All you really need is an eyelet down near the rear wheel, which is pretty standard on most bikes. The Topeak rack is designed to also connect to the upper eyelet, but for some reason, my bike doesn't have this outlet, but it wasn't a problem for me. I just went to a local hardware store and I found this little attachment here. I'll put a link to that in the description box as well in case, in case you have the same problem as me, but I just attached this little uh, hose thing on there and wrapped it around my frame and I haven't had any issues whatsoever in the past year of riding with this setup. Okay, so let me tell you about the Topeak trunk bag now. There's a few different options, but I decided to go with the Topeak MTX trunk bag EX. Normally this bag costs $69.95, but I got it for $52.39 and you can click the link below this video in the description box and get the same discount. It's a 25% discount right now on Amazon so you can get an extra good deal on it. The Topeak MTX trunk bag is a great bang for your buck. It vastly expands the amount of stuff you can take with you on a ride without being excessively large and bulky. If you really want even more space than what this bag has to offer, you can get the DTX version of this bag. It has expandable panniers like saddlebags. It does cost a bit more, but when you drop those saddlebags out, you'll be able to carry a ton more stuff. For my purposes, I didn't really see the need to carry that much stuff with me, and I wanted to keep it more simple and less bulky. Plus, with my size 14 shoe, I thought I might not even have enough clearance to pedal with the panniers down. Okay, so you can take a look at the Topeak MTX trunk bag, and you can see a lot of good things about it. But let me tell you about some of the downsides of the Topeak MTX trunk bag. I was able to come up with six downsides to the Topeak trunk bag. The first downside I was able to come up with for the Topeak trunk bag is if you add a lot of weight to the bag, it's stored in kind of an awkward location on the bike, which makes handling of the bike kind of wonky. Since the weight is placed kind of high above the rear wheel, if you've ever ridden with a load like this, you'll understand what I mean. When the Topeak trunk bag is loaded up heavy, I'd definitely be cautious about making turns because the handling 
can be a little bit weird when it's really heavy. The second downside to the Topeak trunk bag is really just a personal preference. I didn't really like the yellow lettering on the exterior of the bag. I prefer more, more of a simple, clean look. So what I did is I just used a black Sharpie to color in the yellow lettering and it just makes it all look black from a distance and the Sharpie color has held up really well for the past year or so I've been riding with this trunk bag. The third downside to the Topeak trunk bag is I'd have to say are the zippers on the side of the trunk bag. They're really small and it's hard to really fit anything in them. Personally, I've never really used them. If you want more storage, I'd say go for the DTX version with the panniers that drop out. As you can see in these video clips, I can barely like, I can't even fit this small little tennis ball in there, but you could like slip a couple dollars, a little bit of cash in there or some sort of papers. The fourth downside to the Topeak trunk bag is some people seem to think that the clip system might fail over time. And I've been using this bag for over a year with no troubles yet. That being said, when I first got the Topeak trunk bag, I did find myself glancing back at that little hook quite regularly checking to see if the bag was still on there or if it fell off, but I've never had any issue with it coming off on its own. And the spring has held up just fine for me. Now, probably after a long time, this spring might wear out, but I have not had any problems with the spring and the clip system failing me whatsoever. The fifth downside is it can be slightly difficult to align the Topeak trunk bag to the rails. But again, this really isn't even a big problem. You just kind of need to pay attention to what you're doing for a split second and you're good to go. Now the final downside, downside number six of the Topeak trunk bag is the rack is super easy to put on, which also makes it super easy to take off. And this makes it kind of a double-edged sword. It is susceptible to get stolen. I've left this bag unlocked many times now and it's never been stolen. But I do have to admit, every time I leave it on out in public, when my bike's locked up in a public place, I do end up wondering if it's going to be there when I come back. So far, so good. Nobody's ever tried to steal my Topeak trunk bag. You can click the link below this video in the description box. And like I said, there's a 25% discount on the Topeak trunk bag right now. So if you've been thinking about a way to get some sort of extra storage on your bike, this trunk bag has been a game changer for me. It just really expands my options. You know, I can pack up some stuff and I can run down to the grocery, grab some groceries. It really just, it basically turns my exercise machine into something that I can use as a small vehicle to go grab a few things at the store or head out for a longer adventure and carry more stuff with me. Overall, I'd highly recommend it. I'm super happy with it. Just make sure you choose the correct rack for your bike. Again, just click on the link below the video in the description box and you can head on over to Amazon and check out the different options and compare the bags. I'm really happy with my choice. I think the one I have is the right one for me. If you want more storage, maybe go for a bigger one. But overall, no matter what setup you end up going with, I think you'll be really happy with the additional storage the Topeak trunk bag gives you. As always, thanks for watching. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next video.